The bizarre story behind Justin Bieber's BFF Lil Za and his drug possession is getting even creepier. Turns out Za actually defended himself to cops saying that he keeps ecstasy around to give to young girls. What? Like, who are you and why? So back in January, Cali police raided Justin Bieber's mansion. Lil Za was there. In fact, he called himself Bieb's assistant. Not much of an assistant, if you ask me, because if Justin has been needing anything in the last few months or year, it's assistance, like stat. And by the way, I thought Lil Za was working on his rap career, and I do use the term rap career loosely. Anyway, Lil Za was caught red-handed in possession of ecstasy and oxycodone. And Lil Za must have been high on something, because homie thought it would be a good idea to say to cops that MDMA was the good stuff, the quote-unquote pure stuff, which he also referred to as purple moon rocks. I just want to say whoever names strippers and drugs deserves an award for the most cliche names ever. Anyway, Za apparently bragged to cops that girls love it and that that's why he keeps ecstasy around. The police literally wrote down in their files that it appears he keeps the drugs to satisfy young girls that he is around. Creepy or creepy? What kind of girls are you trying to attract that drugs are your gift of choice? Like, hashtag ew? I mean, what do you guys think of all this drama? What would you like a guy to give you or a girl to give you to show you that they like you? I vote for a spa gift card or a dinner or a free mani-pedi or flowers, but ecstasy is so not on my list. I'm Miriam Misa, and I look forward to reading your tweets, so find me on Twitter. And click right over here for the latest episode of Totally Clever, where we take Selena's man adventures to the streets. And for all your music news, subscribe to Clever Music.